this is a cock stunt bee. It's pretty much the same as a black widow. So if you have not started it in a long time or don't know the last time it started, first thing you should do would be to hook up the battery and make sure that the glow plug yeah, has a nice bright orange inside the cylinder. You can see it? Inside the hole there. Good? Okay. If it's not orange, stop right there and figure out why it's not glowing. Okay. Next would be not started in a long time. Take the needle all the way out. Take your syringe. And if you don't have a syringe, I'll put a link where you can buy these. It's MBS Model Supply, Melvin and Brenda Shoot. They are very nice people. Take your syringe, put it where the needle was, hold it, and squirt through. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. What you're trying to do is flush everything out that could have been in there. If it's too bad, obviously we'll do another video on how to clean the reeds and everything. Fill the tank, put it on the top vent, and inject with the syringe until the fuel squirts out of the bottom vent. And that means that you have a full tank. Normally, you would want to prime right directly into the exhaust port. There's not any set amount, just squirt some in there. Since we flooded the engine shooting it through the needle, you could actually just take it, flip it a couple times, get everything nice and wet. Take this time, if you don't know how to use these, to make sure you get your finger out of the way so that you don't get coxed. This is a normal rotation counterclockwise when viewed from the front. So you take the prop, spin it to the right, and just let go. So now that we're primed, ready to go, put your glow clip on. Hold the prop, put your glow clip on behind the wing so it doesn't get caught in the prop. You'll hear a sizzle. Carefully wind it. And fire it. That runs the prime off. We know the engine's good. Okay, pause it. Okay, so we had the needle all the way closed. So the best starting position, I don't know if you can see it, it's probably be too hard to tell, but there's a little line on the needle itself. To start, we want to just do that three turns out, so using that line as a reference. And when I say out, counterclockwise, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, right? So if you turn it to the right, you're turning it in, you're leaning it out. You're leaning it. If you're turning the needle out, you're richening it. So turn it out three turns from fully seated. When you fully seat it, you turn it in, but gently. You don't want to damp it. So we're going to turn it out three turns. Two, three. This is really hard to explain. I don't know how this audio is going to sound. When we start it, it's going to start and run really rich because we're three turns out. You're going to turn the needle in clockwise until the engine peaks out. It'll start to scream. You'll turn it in very slowly until you get rid of all that cackling sound and it's a very steady screaming run. 
and then you want to slowly turn it back out until you get just a slight cackle. Uh, hopefully, we will show you what I'm talking about. Oops, that's not slight. A little bit of prime. Rotate it first. Hold the airplane. Put the glow clip on behind the wing. And then we can let go. And it should fire right up. Actually run and that should be it that should stay running for you uh, if you need any more videos let us know we can post some reed valve dissection videos we can go more in depth in the tuning and we can go any style of Cox engine that you want we got them all here thanks for watching